Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 13th, 2019. Welcome to another Surviving Day on this Planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. As first, we're going to be looking at a massive, fiery sunspot coming in right now. It is a huge sunspot. We're going to be watching this one for sure. Let's hope it doesn't snap Earth-facing. Definitely on watch here. As things have really heated up on the sun recently, sunspots are very active, filament eruptions have started. Some beautiful images of our sun right now. But that flare, or sorry, that sunspot region coming is a very large one. So as I said, we're going to be keeping an eye on that. Looking at these images here, you can really see the plasma that has started to react to the sunspot because there is a departing and an incoming sunspot. They are antipode to each other, meaning opposite. And look at the plasma starting to dance all around this sunspot. And it has become very active. And we had a very active departing sunspot. And you can see here plasma being lifted up as high as possibly five Earths, the size of five Earths. I don't really have the perspective size to scale for the Earth here, but I'm telling you, those are huge filament, plasma filament eruptions. And uh, I apologize to, all, to everybody listening right now. I do have a cold, but... Morning Dew is here for you, and looking at the disaster alerts, all across North America, we've got winter storms, winter storm warnings, we've got floods, we've got now avalanche warnings all across the upper Midwest from those that pretty nasty winter storm that has been pummeling Western Rockies for the last few days. As you can see here, avalanche warnings, heavy snowfall warnings, winter storm warnings, And I've been warning about this storm that is hitting right now for about a week now. So people need to stay aware and prepared because our wind streams are changing drastically. The low pressure systems are getting deeper, they're getting stronger, and they're packing a bigger punch. I'm going to get more into that as we look at the windy map soon. But around the world, we are still seeing extreme weather events happen as well as volcanoes, new volcanoes actively erupting, earthquakes in diverse places. God bless humanity. We also have a tropical cyclone here. Tropical cyclone Oma is right over Fiji and New Caledonia right now, heading south. So New Zealand should be on watch as we watch for the five to seven day forecast. also have high wind warnings and flood warnings across uh, Greece. Winter storm warning in Greece as well. Large low pressure system there. But here looking at the, the next five to seven days on the windy. It is freaking windy. And look at the size of these low pressure systems. This is just not right. They're getting bigger, they're getting stronger. And maybe they're spraying our skies because they know it's getting out of control and they need to control high pressure ridges, which they can and they have been for a while. They inject them. So there was a huge high pressure blockade that stopped the large low pressure system that was over Hawaii from moving northeastward. It got trapped and you can see it here on this windy map. But then watching in the five to seven days, I'm particularly interested in the Atlantic development here. Multiple vortices involved in a very large low pressure system building. I'm telling you, those winds are packing a punch up to 60 knots in some places. 
That is hurricane force. That is cyclone force. We've got Oma. Later in the week, we also have a cyclone or typhoon developing in the West Pacific. And that is a very tightly whipped typhoon. We also have a cyclone southeast of Madagascar. Now, watching in the five-day forecast with Media Earth, you can see it develop over Africa and head southeast. So very interesting indeed. Stay aware and prepared. Atmospheric compression events are happening around the world. And here is the five-day forecast for this tropical cyclone Oma, who is currently over the Fiji Islands, heading to New Caledonia tonight. So it is a Category 2 storm, and later we'll be building to a Category 3 cyclone, so stay aware and prepared. New Caledonia, and stay on alert. New Zealand, as this storm will head south. Watching here over the Pacific Ocean, still large low-pressure system in the north, but also this large low-pressure system hammering the upper Midwest and also western parts of Canada. As you saw earlier, winter storm warnings, avalanche warnings, and it is going to continue for the next few days, so stay aware and prepared. Washington, California, British Columbia, and Alberta will be seeing about 5 to 10 centimeters of snow as that large low pressure system heads southeast. Cold conditions sticking around as high pressure ridges are moving straight from the North Pole. And we've got now a completely snow covered Russia and China. So things are just going to get colder and colder now. Watch for these large low pressure systems to build week after week heading into the Aleutian Islands. Here's where I was talking about over Africa. see there over Mozambique and Zimbabwe the low pressure ridge eventually develops due to mass evaporation folks we have a collapsed magnetosphere and we're getting increased cosmic rays which is going to create more cloud cover as well as all the volcanoes that have been going off so please stay aware and prepared across the world. God bless humanity and God bless you all for watching today. I want to thank you so much for all of your support and your loyalty. We're going to look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes now. Most recent being this 5 or sorry 3.2 in Ferndale, California. kind of waking up in Russia a lot of 5.0s here that is probably a lot of ice quakes as well as things are freezing in Russia and they're completely snow covered we have volcanoes in Kamchatka we also have these continuing earthquake swarms in general Lao Philippines as well as Indonesia the 4.5s. Fiji Island as well. We have that large tropical cyclone Oma over there right now. We had some recent activity too in the South Sandwich Islands. So all of these earthquakes that we're looking at the last 24 hours are pretty shallow. We're going to be looking for a deeper earthquake, especially when we have Mercury now incoming in the next couple weeks for a mercury for a retrograde with the sun looking around the world this is the last seven days for earthquakes most of the deep earthquakes were from earlier in the week so it has been fairly quiet in regards to deep earthquakes still watching an earthquake swarm in the dominica And we still have a quiet zone over North America. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun.
and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.